On Wednesday, March 15th, 2017, on day two of Michigan Farm Bureau's Washington Legislative Seminar, members heard from U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow, ranking member on the U.S. Senate Ag Committee, on several issues, including the 2018 Farm Bill, in particular, the dairy program. We need to uh, fix the dairy program. I mean, there's so much in the last Farm Bill that has worked for us in Michigan, but clearly uh, the dairy program has not done what it needs to do to provide a safety net for our producers. So I've got two tracks going. One is trying to figure out if there's any way administratively the USDA could pro provide some relief this year because I think it, there's a real sense of urgency and either way we've got to make some changes in the farm bill and that's a top priority for me. I know that uh, Michigan milk producers and I know working with the Farm Bureau and so on are supportive of the basic structure of the milk program. They just want to see the numbers change so that it works better. So uh, that we'll certainly start with that. Uh, we're also looking at some other creative things that might help administratively. John Hawley is Vice President of Government Relations for the National Milk Producers Federation. He feels the Margin Protection Program for Dairy Producers is something that should actually be of benefit for a group who have lost their fair share. We have lost a significant not only number uh, of farms, but also some of our larger farms have lost a considerable amount of equity uh, over the last couple of years. It's really a tragic situation because we have the possibility of having a program that could address those issues, uh, be, but because of the changes that were made last minute by Congress, it's not able to do so. Um, so what we need to make sure happens is that not only for those farmers who are struggling now, uh, but for those farms who could be struggling in the future, that we have a program that accurately reflects their costs. The margin protection program really is the the safety net for dairy producers. Uh, unfortunately, Congress made changes to the program uh, that ended up shortchanging farmers in the end. Uh, what we saw in the first uh, term of the program, the first year of the program, 2015, was that farmers paid $73 million into the program and only received $700,000 in payments. What we're not looking for is a program that pays out every year. We don't want farmers to be losing money but we want to make sure that they have an effective safety net. That's not what they saw that time around, um, and we need to make sure that we make those changes. Senator Stabenow has really been a true champion uh, for dairy farmers um, since she started in Congress. Um, obviously, with her role uh, as the lead Democrat on the Senate Agriculture Committee, uh, she has stepped up uh, her game on that, on that matter. Um, she is the person who, frankly, spent hours and hours at the end of the last farm bill negotiating the dairy policy. Um, we may uh, obviously rely on her again uh, to make those changes um, and we feel pretty confident that she will do so. Dairy farmers in Michigan are pretty lucky to have a champion like Senator Stabenow.